Bullus pemphigoid, Wikipedia article audio. Bullus pemphigoid is an acute or chronic autoimmune skin disease, involving the formation of blisters, more appropriately known as bully, at the space between the epidermis and dermis skin layers. It is classified as a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, with the formation of antihemidesmosome antibodies. Clinically, the earliest lesions may appear urticarial, but could also appear dermatitic, targetoid, lichenoid, nodular, or even without visible rash. Tense bully eventually erupt, most commonly at the inner thighs and upper arms, but the trunk and extremities are frequently both involved. Any part of the skin surface can be involved. Oral lesions are present in a minority of cases. The disease may be acute, but typically will wax and wane. Several other skin diseases may have similar symptoms. However, milia are more common with epidermolysis bullosa acquisita, because of the deeper antigenic targets. A more ring-like configuration with a central depression or centrally collapsed bully may indicate linear IgA disease. Nikolsky's sign is negative unlike Pemphigus vulgaris where it is positive. Signs and Symptoms Causes In most cases of bullous pemphigoid, no clear precipitating factors are identified. Potential precipitating events that have been reported include exposure to ultraviolet light and radiation therapy. Onset of bullous pemphigoid has also been associated with certain drugs, including furosemide and other nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory agents, captopril, penicillamine, and antibiotics. The bully are formed by an immune reaction initiated by the formation of IgG autoantibodies targeting dystonin, also called bullous pemphigoid antigen 1, and slash or type 17 collagen, also called bullous pemphigoid antigen 2, which is a component of hemidesmosomes. A different form of dystonin is associated with neuropathy. Following antibody targeting, a cascade of immunomodulators results in a variable surge of immune cells, including neutrophils, lymphocytes, and eosinophils coming to the affected area. Unclear events subsequently result in a separation along the dermoepidermal junction and eventually stretch bully. Diagnosis is based on two biopsies of the skin, one submitted for routine H and E staining and one for immunofluorescence studies. Treatments include class I topical steroids which in some studies have proven to be equally effective as systemic, or pill, therapy and somewhat safer. However, in difficult to manage or widespread cases, systemic prednisone and powerful steroid-free immunosuppressant medications, such as methotrexate, azathioprine or mycophenolate mofetil, may be appropriate. Antibiotics such as tetracycline or erythromycin may also control the disease, particularly in patients who cannot use corticosteroids. The anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody rituximab has been found to be effective in treating some otherwise refractory cases of bullous pemphigoid. IgA-mediated pemphigoid can often be difficult to treat even with usually effective medications such as rituximab. Pathophysiology Bullous pemphigoid may be self-resolving in a period ranging from several months to many years even without treatment. Poor general health related to old age is associated with a poorer prognosis. Very rarely seen in children. Bullous pemphigoid most commonly occurs in people 70 years of age and older. Estimated frequency is 7 to 14 cases per million per year, but has been reported to be as high as 472 cases per million per year in Scottish men older than 85. 
at least one study indicates the incidence might be increasing in the United Kingdom. Some sources report it affects men twice as frequently as women, while others report no difference between the sexes. Diagnosis Many mammals can be afflicted, including dogs, cats, pigs, and horses, as well as humans. It is very rare in dogs, on average, three cases are diagnosed around the world each year. Animal models of Bullus pemphigoid have been developed using transgenic techniques to produce mice lacking the genes for the two known autoantigens, dystonin and collagen 17. Treatment Prognosis Epidemiology Research